It is a cool part. Yeah, thank you. So much magenta. Okay, and fully defined coming in with an answer. Two, seven, six. And that is not correct. Two, seven, six. And that is not correct. Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And today we're gonna take a look at an epic CAD vs. CAD battle. This one comes from our 2024 World Championship of 3D CAD speed modeling, and it features our final four runners in that tournament. So these guys are some of the fastest in the world. But if you want to challenge yourself and see if maybe you're even faster than these wizards, you absolutely can. When I reveal the 2D drawing, you can take a screen capture and then you can attempt to model it right along with these guys using any 3D CAD system. Try to calculate the correct mass and at the end of each of these battles, I will show you the correct mass on screen. So if that sounds good to you, hit the like button. Be sure to share this video with some other CAD enthusiasts and let me know down in the comments, what did you think about this model and what was your favorite part of this CAD vs. CAD battle? I would, I would say slow down, make sure that everything is correct and to, uh, if you have any questions, double check with, with Toby. Oh, okay. Good advice. It's solid sounded. You're right. really throwing me into the mix there. Yep. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. Well, here we go. This next and deciding battle, who's going to go to the finals? Will it be Great in 808, the Fusion 360 Phenom from high school? Or will it be Crispy Co? Trying to lock up his first time going into the final two. Stretch your fingers. Shake everything off. <laughs> here we go, guys. This next CAD battle. Featuring Fusion 360 and SolidWorks begins in three, two, one, go! What is the total mass of this multi body part or assembly in XXX pounds? All right, guys, take a look at this one. Read up, take a screen capture. This is a really cool, really cool model. We've got four instances of those legs. The legs are the same in all four places. All the edges of the holes align perfectly with the leg. The upper plate is hollow. The lower plate is solid. That's all I'm gonna tell you. This is probably so far my favorite design. This is definitely a cool, cool part. More multi-body. Yeah. This part is diabolical, Aaron C says. Mm -hmm. Agreed. What would something like this be used for? It's a table. A twisty table. It's a twisty table. Sure. Cover for me for a second. Okay. To put a cup, maybe a, a small lamp. This is a totally twisted table. Let's see, this is coming together very well. This looks Great. Cool part. Ivan says, cool part. Rita says, ha ha, nice optical illusion model. Yeah, it is kind of like an optical illusion. Hmm. So much magenta indeed. How are we doing in the audience? All right. Yeah, we're gonna go to the club after this. I was entertaining. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, this is. This is definitely a tricky model right here that we're looking at. This is, uh, I'm, oh. very, I'm really interested to see how these guys end up coming up with a solution for this one, because this is one where you have multiple parts that need to fit together. This happens all the time in the actual industry. You've got these, uh, you know, you got this tabletop, you got these table legs, everything needs to fit together. Hmm. Design would fit next to a tense integrity table. Yeah, exactly. 
Mm-hmm. In fact, we saw uh, Ex Machina do a tensegrity table in his uh, recent Alibre demonstration. But so here you can see both of our runners are creating that kind of first leg, trying to figure out how that first leg is going to fit in. And then once they have that first leg, then maybe they'll be able to use it. But the thing is, you'd have to you have to understand how the remaining features from the top and the bottom are going to work with that leg. Wow. You know, the the location of some of these features really can't be solved until you create earlier features. So mm. look at Crispy Co though. Made some good moves there. He's trying. We're gonna see what he ends up coming up with. Looks like he's doing a circular pattern there of so he created a cut and then he's doing a circular pattern of that cut, but it looks like maybe he cut away part of the the leg when he did that. Wow, Crispy Co. Making short work of that thing. Okay, and now you can see now he's trying to hollow out. Crispy Co. on the right there is trying to hollow out that upper part. Yeah. Of course, this is all one single part model now. So now he's got the challenge of how do I make sure I have the correct materials in these part files? Mm. Is there a tolerant or would bully and subtract work? Um, says one DGFGA. There is a note in the print that says all the edges line up perfectly. So no tolerance, just a straight, a straight cut. Ivan saying cool part. I think I heard you say that when I was in the other room. Yeah. It is a cool part. Yeah, thank you. So much magenta. Okay, and fully defined coming in with an answer. Two, seven, six. And that is not correct. Two, seven, six. And that is not correct. Oh. Oh. I usually have the sound effect. Oh. Oh. Two, seven, six. And that is not correct. So look at all the views. Look at all the views from the print. See if you guys can't figure out what's going on. Our runners are allowed to do one incorrect answer. We're looking for what is the mass of this multi-body part or assembly in pounds. I feel like these guys are getting all of the pounds models. So Rambros and Dom, you guys should be thankful. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes the inches and pounds models. Yeah, the audience is audience is looking at this one and starting to think about order of feature creation. Mm. Looks like on the left there, Great Nate has a little that's gonna it's like trying to fit a square hole into a round peg. Uh yeah. <laughs> it's like that. There's a little bit of Rambra says, I like multi part MMGSs. I think we all do. Yeah. Okay, and we might end up seeing an answer here from Great Nate. Aaron C coming in with a super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, hold on a second. We're not. Yeah, we don't want to have this guy. Let's not distract from the, the guys who are running. Uh oh. So they have to match the spec or be more precise. They have to match. Yep, no problem. Sorry, I just got a little distracted there. Yeah, one D G F G A. They they have to match the spec, or they have to be more precise. So I'm just watching both of our runners here. Okay, great NATO eight coming in with an answer four three five pounds. That is not correct. Oh, so now once again, both of our runners have input an answer that is not correct, and so now once again, both of our runners. Are going to need to go through and figure out what was it that they missed? What was it that didn't come up correctly? Wow, those answers are very different. This is exhilarating. Matthew saying, one, we measure in ounces like real men. 
Yeah, that is true. We got to get some ounce challenges in here. Oh, that's ounces. Yeah, everything we do is in, uh, everything we do is in pounds or in grams or kilograms. We don't do ounces though for some reason. We should start though. I thought that was Oz. Oz, the that's show. Oz. Remember that show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go back a few years. Let's go back a few years and talk about Oz. Imperial units are way too confusing for Europeans and Americans working together. Yeah. Yep. That's caused a lot of problems over the years, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Probably. <laughs> Probably like inner workplace problems. Oh, yeah. People getting mad at each other. All right, so it looks like Great Nate 08 has, has adjusted his approach. It looks like he's now maybe trying to use the geometry from the legs a little bit more. And it looks like Chris Biko on the right is still trying to figure out what's going on with his cut extrudes. I think Chris Biko on the right ended up going through and making some cut extrudes in the beginning that they looked a little off to me at the beginning. I'm not sure if you guys were seeing that too. It's a cool challenge. It's a cool, mm -hmm. definitely making these guys fight for their spot in the top two. Mm hmm and we are down to the wire here. We've got both of our runners. Oh, look at this Ivan exploit. He's hollowing that out the other way. Oh. That's okay. That's... Did a job. Oh, Rambo said, actually, I didn't get it. I got the same as... I also got the same as Nate. Oh, interesting. MUC Racing said, did a job that needed Micron. Yeah, that's tight. That's tight precision there, microns. We got a little stink bug hanging out with us here on the answer key. Yeah. Wow. I like that. I like how Fusion was able to show that. Um, like he was able to kind of just like hide and show that really quickly. Mm. So we got both of our runners. They both, it looks like Crispy Co is now going through and looking at his materials. Yeah, double checking to make sure everything is right. Oh, Vinny. This one doesn't have a tolerance, huh? No tolerance. No tolerance. We are in the finals, guys, and this is why we don't we don't worry too much about our timing here in the finals because if there ends up being, you know, if there ends up being a push or anything like that, then so be it. Hmm. We got time. We're not in any rush. But if you don't go too fast enough, then your opponent might come up with the answer before you. Yeah. But no pressure. Yeah, but also no pressure. But everybody's watching you. Yeah. Okay, and looks like Great Nate 08 has come in with an answer. Three, five, two pounds. And that is not correct. Oh, no. Oh, no. And so now you guys know what time it is. It's time for Clock of Doom. And it looks like Chris B has already come in with an answer, even though we got the Clock of Doom up. Let's bring up the Clock of Doom just so that people can enjoy it for a moment. Clock of Doom. Clock of Doom. And... Chris Biko, fully defined, comes in with an answer. Two, nine, seven grams. And guys, we got our first finalist in this year's World Championship of 3D CAD speed modeling. A well-fought battle. GG to Chris Biko. A little redemption there for that last one where he typed in the wrong answer. And good job, Chris Biko. And huge congratulations to Great Nate as well. A very hard-fought battle against a worthy competitor. Wow. What a matchup. Chris Biko and Great Nate, that's going to be one that goes down in the history book. Pretty great. Yeah. Pretty great. Great Nate. GG, appreciate all the GGs coming in.